Hi, I'm Trisha Friedman, and I wanted to go a little bit behind the scenes on a resource that I shared recently uh, because a lot of folks responded with additional questions and how they might set this up. And again, I'm a big believer that when we really think about intentionally crafting an experience for learners, that's where resources can truly do more. So this is one example from a role-playing scenario with generative AI prompt uh, that I crafted. You can see the full prompt there. And it's not just about taking that prompt, running through the role-play end of learning experience. There's a few things that you can do to really enhance this, make it more social, make it more dynamic. And I want to say that when I run this through with educators, I do it in small groups, either just a partner or a group of three you can take a prompt like this much further. So I would mention, hey, before we run this through, we're going to debrief and talk about our experience. And there's two different tools that I think can do a really good job in getting folks to take that role play scenario further. And one is our Shifting Schools uh, mini menu. This is Towards Turnaround Time Out, where I would have this as a menu and I'd say, okay, after we've taken our five to seven minutes with that role play, can you take one of these sentence starters and then let's discuss further, because I do think that the role play with gener generative AI, uh, it's going to help us move to completely different questions in terms of what it means to use this technology for our capacity to listen to our, for our capacity to have better conversations with one another. The other resource is one that I've developed for younger learners, but I still find to be pretty helpful with this specific scenario. Um, and that is our flip the script resource, where if you're using a generative AI tool to create a script, it's again, on the other end, it's the critical review, the critical analysis of that resource, where when we've got a menu like this one, I would be inviting students or adult learners in this context to take the time to talk about the core feelings uh, that were expressed in that dynamic. And then to point out, well, which feelings do you think maybe should have been explored in that situation and why? What two to three questions could the characters have asked in that situation in order to model more open-minded listening? What ideas do you have for a specific section to make it feel like a more accurate representation of your experience as a learner? And then lastly, just on that one to five scale, how helpful was it? What could we maybe have done uh, to have made it a four instead of a three, et cetera? I think the reminder here is regardless of the technology we're talking about, it's always thinking about ways to elevate conversation, our listening capabilities as the essential uh, parts of the recipe that make that template or that technology come to life. So in the comment section, or sorry, in the description section, you'll find a Google Doc that's going to take you over to six different empathy building role play prompts that I have established um, again, I'd invite you to check out that resource, maybe just try out one and think about which of these resources might pair best with it to create a conversation with a colleague. And just a reminder, if you're looking for more guidance over on our Shifting Schools website, when you click free guides, it's going to take you over to a few other options. If you try out any of these role-playing scenarios, we'd love to hear back from you. You can always reach us at info at shiftingschools.com. Thanks for watching.